Hi, in this short tutorial, I will demonstrate how you can obtain your test and live Stripe API keys that are needed to use the Stripe Payments plugin. I'm in my WordPress dashboard where I've gone to the Stripe Payments settings menu. Under credentials, you'll see four fields where you can put your live and test API keys. These keys can be copied and pasted directly from your Stripe account. So we'll go there now and we'll take a look where they can be found. I've signed him to my Stripe account and I've clicked on the API keys menu found under developers. It's here that I can find my live API keys. When you click straight on the API keys and do not click any further, you'll see your live keys. Then if you toggle, you can see your test keys. This is demonstrated by the test data at the top. So I'll toggle back to my live keys. My publishable key is here and then I can reveal my secret key by clicking this button. If I was hoping to run live Stripe transactions on my WordPress site, I would need to copy this key and my secret key, followed by pasting them in the live Stripe publishable key field and the live Stripe secret key field. So these are both the first and second fields. I would also need to have the live mode checkbox enabled. So check this to run the transaction in live mode. So when I keep this checked, anyone can run live transactions on my site. Unchecking it means that I can run test transactions and live transactions will not be able to be completed. So once I've pasted in my live Stripe keys, I can go back and I can get my test keys. If you only want to run test transactions, you do not need to have your live keys. So I'll go back and I'll show you where the test keys are now. So back in my Stripe dashboard, I've copied my live keys and I'll now toggle to get my test keys. So I know these are my test keys because it says test data at the top. So then I would copy my publishable test key and I'd copy my secret test key by revealing it. And then again, I would paste them into the test Stripe publishable key field and the test stripe secret key field. It's crucial that you have these in the right fields. If you have mixed up your live and your test stripe API keys, you will not be able to do test transactions and your customers will not be able to do live transactions. So it's important that you double check this before your site goes live. If you intend on completing a test on your own site, the next section will be helpful. Ensure you have your test stripe publishable key and your test stripe secret key in the correct fields. And then I'll demonstrate how you can complete a transaction. So once they're in place and you've saved the changes you've made, you'll need to find the product that you wish to complete a test transaction for. So I've got a basic adults t-shirt here and I'll show you how you can complete a test. You'd come on, you'd click the buy now button and you can put in a dummy email. Then your card number will be 42424242424242. And once your card number's in, your month and year will meet, need to be anything in the future. So I'll go 10 of 22. And your CVC will be 123. Clicking pay will then do a tr test transaction. So I've clicked the pay button. And I've now completed a successful test transaction. So that ensures everything is working correctly. It also outlines the flow that my customers would need to go through to purchase an item on my site. After watching this tutorial, I hope you have a better understanding of how to enter your test and your live Stripe API keys for the Stripe Payments plugin. If you have any further questions about entering live or test Stripe API keys, please leave them in the comments.